Hey friends, today we are hanging out in Hollywood, California, and I am so excited to be here. We're gonna go have brunch in the fanciest hotel in Beverly Hills. We're gonna go walk down the Hollywood Walk of Fame and visit the Chinese Theater, and also go to Universal Studios Hollywood and ride the world famous studio tour. So let's eat some food, explore the city, and have a beautiful Hollywood country of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. I cannot wait to show you guys where we are staying. We uh, rented this little treehouse cabin in the Hollywood Hills and it's got this little privacy fence here so you can be tucked away and look at these views. Look at this. I would have my morning coffee out here every single day if I could. It's so beautiful. And this is the treehouse cabin that I was talking about. It's so amazing. And look, you can actually sit over here and have coffee too. You know you're in a good spot when you have multiple places where you can sit and want to have your coffee. And I'll uh, give you a little tour of the cabin. I've always wanted to stay in the Hollywood Hills and I feel like this is the perfect accommodation for us. It's two bedrooms, one bathroom. It's just me and my friend Sean and I love it here. I feel like I'm only going to ever want to stay here again if I ever come back to Hollywood. We got in late last night so the cabin isn't in pristine condition but I'm going to show you around a little bit and it is just so beautiful in here. There's Sean out there. We have a little kitchen, a living room. But like my favorite thing is definitely the deck on the outside. Let me show you the deck here. It wraps all the way around the cabin. Look at the views. Look at this. I don't know who Teddy is though. I kind of wish it said Gracie, but wow. Like we are out there. We are up in the Hollywood Hills and we're just looking over some like million dollar mansions. I love it here so much. Like, it's beautiful. It is so gorgeous. And like I said, the deck wraps all the way around the cabin. I love it here. I love it here so much. Speaking of coffee, I feel like we need to get some. So after I show you the cabin, I think we're going to drive over to Beverly Hills, grab some coffee, and who knows, maybe some brunch. Brunch in Beverly Hills. Doesn't that sound amazing? What I feel like makes this cabin really cozy is the architect, the walls, the ceilings are all at a different little angle. They're not just straight traditional cabin, normal looking homes, but on Airbnb, this is called the writer's cabin. So I can only imagine what kind of books, TV shows, movies, you never know. Could yeah, anything could have been written here. And I love the furniture, some more of the art, and uh, I'll show you guys around. I'll show you the rooms. Sean was staying in this room right here. And it's really cool because you can actually access the deck from every single room. And remember when I said I woke up this morning and I didn't know how beautiful it was until like this morning? Well, here's some more of the artwork. This is where I'm staying. And when I woke up, I was like, wow, where am I? This is where I am. And I woke up this morning and I looked over and I was like, wow, this is beautiful. This was the view. I was like, wow, this is, honestly, I was so stunned. I woke up, I woke up with such a smile on my face. Now that we've showed you the cabin, me and Sean are gonna head out to Beverly Hills and grab some brunch or some coffee. And uh, we rented a Jeep. It's kind of funny because whenever we come to California, Sean one time said, hey, we should go out, rent a Jeep and drive up and down the coast. But ever since then, now we actually rent Jeeps and uh, drive around Hollywood Hills. I kind of like that. Let's drive the coast right now. Yeah, let's go. We're going to drive up and down the coast. No, for, we're going to, yeah. Oh, we might go to Santa Barbara. Who knows? That'd be, oh, that'd be kind of fancy. All right. <laughs> My girl wants to party all the time. Party all the time. I have always wanted to stay at the Beverly Hills Hotel ever since I saw it in the movie Saving Mr. Banks. Uh, it's uh, the movie with uh, Tom Hanks where he plays Walt Disney and he puts uh, the uh, creator of Mary Poppins. She stayed here and they filmed uh, at this hotel and I was like, wow, that, 
that hotel is so beautiful i want to stay there so luckily we have a friend that is staying here and we're coming by for a little uh little brunch a little coffee and kind of just enjoying and seeing what the hotel's like we made our way to the beverly hills hotel and this place is fancy like super fancy from the 1950s to the 1970s is when the Beverly Hills Hotel started becoming an icon and celebrity royalty chose the Beverly Hills Hotel as their playground. Some movies that were filmed here were like Let's Make Love with Marilyn Monroe and then the uh, Eagles uh, best-selling album Hotel California, the Beverly Hills Hotel was featured on the cover and it's just so iconic just seeing like literally being here and hearing about it. They have like nice little shops down below where you can get suits and a spa. And I think we're gonna head out to the pool and uh, grab, a little, grab a little coffee or a little brunch. The weather is so nice out right now. And it's kind of funny that we're going for brunch by a pool and we're wearing like coats and sweatshirts. Well, that's because we're from Florida. And right now I feel like it's fallout and it's finally nice to be able to wear coats and hoodies without like sweating to death. And I love it. I'm here for it. I love the weather in California. There's a little coffee shop down by the pool. And I kind of love just being on the outside. Look at this. It's so nice. Honestly, I'm loving all of Hollywood. I decided to look and see how much it would cost to spend the night at the Beverly Hills Hotel. And it's just about uh, $1,200 per night for their basic rate. But the service has been so like exceptional. Like as soon as uh, we walked in, I just feel so elegant and everybody's greeting you and you really do feel so fancy. The Cabana Cafe is on the right of the pool. And I'm just kind of like looking over where we're at right now and it's unbelievable. Wow, it's so gorgeous here. We ended up getting some pancakes, some fresh fruit and an omelet. And the fresh fruit is actually picked at the farmer's market across the street. Uh, and uh, I think that's so awesome. I, I wouldn't mind actually walking over there, but all the food looks good. The pancakes, the powdered sugar, look at that. I'm excited. You excited? I'm very excited. Yeah, looks delicious. Delicious. The second I bit into those pancakes, I knew there was something different about them and I can't figure it out, but they taste amazing and they might be the best pancakes I've ever had. I, I, I don't know why. It was the syrup. No, no, I mean, I, I, they're just so good. I never thought I would have the best pancakes of my life in Beverly Hills, but I think that's just what happened. Look at this, and I pour a little syrup on before each bite. They are so good. All right, enough of the Beverly Hills Hotel. That place is so beautiful, and our little brunch was awesome like i loved it like i said i can't believe i had the best pancakes of my life <laughs> at the beverly hills hotel but now we're gonna keep moving along and we're gonna make our way over to universal studios hollywood i'm so excited i uh, know sean this is sean's very first time coming here uh so it's gonna be kind of cool to show him a little bit of uh movie history and we have made our way to universal studios hollywood look at that Wow, it's so awesome to be here. And this is my first time coming since Super Nintendo World opened up and I'm excited to ride the new ride. I'm not doing a whole Universal Studios uh, Hollywood video because today it's more or less just like Hollywood in general. Uh, so I'm not gonna be showing much of the park. I've showed it before in previous videos. The only thing new for me would have been uh, Super Nintendo World, but I don't even know if we're gonna go explore it. Uh, the only thing I'm really excited for big time and I'm gonna show is probably the studio, the world famous studio tour. Uh, but uh, yeah, we're gonna head on in and just kind of have fun and, uh, Hang out at Hollywood Studios, Universal Hollywood. The best way to start out the day is on the world famous studio tour. And I love this. I would come here just for this attraction alone and be happy. It's, it's literally the best. And also I get to see Jaws in action. And it looks like the wait time's 40 minutes. So hopefully, uh, 
I'm not gonna regret wanting to buy that express pass. The tram tour is just about an hour long and you're allowed to bring drinks on with you. So I got a large mango cart, a monster, two bottles of water and a cinnamon pretzel. And I think I'm good to go. I just don't know how I'm gonna carry it all over there. I'm gonna like scoop it like this. Oh, that works. And then maybe I can hold the cinnamon pretzel in my hand right here and it'll be just fine. Let's see. I'm coming in. Thank you. Have a great one. Excellent. Graham, today I'd like to welcome everyone to our Universal Studios tour. Thank you for joining us. We made it. My friends, we are going to go on quite the adventure. We're going to be on this tour for about 45 minutes to an hour. Oh boy, guys. It's happening. We're going to head into the set recreation of one of Steven Spielberg's most famous summer blockbusters. Yeah, I'm talking about the cars, okay? We're headed over to Amity Island. Hey, no people are reading the forecast for God, and they'll spill it this line. But I just want to find it, but it's just stay safe and stay safe, because you never really know what might happen on the back lots here. One of the sharks will just keep the water. Of course. Of course. Uh-oh. Just have a lot of guts going in there, it really did. Oh no. And there they are. <laughs> no need to be alarmed, folks. We're just gonna keep on moving past that. Yeah, let's try to feed him that yellow barrel out there that has some bait in it. He'll take the bait and leave us alone. We're just gonna hide next to these red barrels. I don't have my prescriptions on, I can't quite read what those barrels say. Uh oh, looks like he's taking the whole pier, not just the bait. Does that say gasoline? We gotta make our way down to the lower lot now. And isn't it insane? Look at there's Super Nintendo World and then Jurassic World I'm hoping to do. But the views here are just so beautiful. I love it so much. And that's the upper lot. We had actually had to come down one escalator already. And it's just so cool. The design here and the views are just spectacular. It's time to enter into Super Nintendo World for the very first time. Oh, I'm so excited. Look at this. This is too cool. So happy that I decided to come in. This is beautiful in here. It is so incredible and so well done. The theming is amazing. It's really cool seeing all the different interactions, like things happening all around. Shells, mushrooms. 
It's, <laughs> Honestly, I feel very immersed at the moment. I didn't think I would be. They have one attraction. It's Mario Kart Bowser's Challenge. Right now, it's at 140 minute wait. 140 minute wait. Well, unfortunately, we got here too late in the day, and uh, the Toad's Cafe was closed, and also the uh, the Mario Kart ride was at like 140 minute wait. So we're not gonna have enough time to ride that, but at least we got to go in and see the land a little bit. Since we can't do the new ride in uh, Super Nintendo World, Jurassic World is right next door, but it has a similar wait, but at least this one has a single rider line that's open. The Jurassic World ride here is so much better than the one over in Orlando, and I can't wait to just see the animatronics. Like, that's what I love about Disney, but the wait times here is also really high. 110 minutes. The last time I came here, everything was a walk-on, but I'm just now realizing, hey, it's Labor Day weekend. Well, maybe it's going to be busy inside the theme park. Looks like we'll go in front row. <laughs> Universal Studios Hollywood just has uh, Triceratops walking around in uh, the lower lot here. It's kind of cool. Oh boy. Oh, he's hungry. This man is crazy. Look at him. He always makes me feel bad for taking the escalator and then he goes and he's, he's taking the stairs. Don't do it, Sean. You've already done a lot of steps today. 
I've never met anyone that took the stairs at Universal Studios Hollywood before, but this man is doing it. Going all the way up. Especially walking up. Like, I could see going down, but who hurt you? What are you trying to prove? Oh, he's just trying to feel something? <laughs> Wow, he did it all the way. Oh boy, can you say hi to my mom? <laughs> my mom loves Frankenstein or Frankenstein's monster. Thank you. Yes, oh, thank you. Oh, you're so awesome. Oh, thank you. Oh, can I give you a hug? Oh. oh. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, he's a gentle one, isn't he? He is. I think it's enough of Universal Studios Hollywood for now. And I want to make my way to go see a closer look at the Hollywood sign itself. Uh, and also want to go explore Hollywood Boulevard a little bit. Maybe go see the Chinese Theater and a couple of other uh, cool spots that I always wanted to show in a video. And we have made it all the way up to the top of the Hollywood Reservoir. And look at that. A great shot of the Hollywood sign. Wow, that is so cool. Look at it. It's so beautiful out here. We're right at the top. We're on a dam. And I don't know what is on the other side of this, actually. It's probably all trees. Look at that. That's too cool. Oh, Hollywood. It's going to be hard to top that view from the top of the dam. I really loved actually seeing the Hollywood sign from somewhere I, I didn't even know that was possible. Uh, but now I want to head back down and I want to go explore Hollywood Boulevard a little bit. Check out all the uh, names and the stars of some of the celebrities and also go to the Snow White Cafe. That's a place I went to when I came last time and I wasn't making a video. And I always said if I came back, I wanted to show it. And uh, maybe uh, maybe the Chinese theater. They're all, there's a lot of good stuff to actually go down and explore at. It is cool though, looking at all the different stars and seeing if any of them, you know who they are. Obviously I can see Dean Martin right here, which I think is kind of cool. And then uh, as you walk, you'll see more. Alan Hale, a bunch of different ones. And right outside of Starbucks, We've got Walt Disney, look at that. And also in little merchandise or gift shop. World's greatest grandma parking only, Elvis fans. But look at that. I'm so happy I found Walt Disney Stone though. Hollywood Boulevard is really not a nice place to actually come hang out anymore. I like it because of its you know, historical significance and uh, it's really gone downhill and honestly sometimes it could be uh, scary and very dangerous so if you're thinking of coming here like it's kind of like a theme park or a very touristy area there's a lot of crazy things that could happen so be careful and be safe the Snow White Cafe is really interesting because as you go inside you'll see some real looking like Snow White murals that look identical to the movie and that's because the story goes uh, that the owner of this cafe was friends with Walt Disney and Walt Disney asked if uh, he could have his uh, movie premiere after party at his location and they agreed and Walt sent over one of the animators that was working on Snow White to uh, decorate and uh, make some murals so that they could uh, make it, you know, themed for the after party. And they decided to just keep the murals and uh, keep all the uh, stuff actually the way that it is. And I think that's so cool. Look at that. Snow White there. And you can see it, oh wow, all the way up at the top there. The Seven Dwarves right here. This place is really, really cool. There 
wasn't really anything I wanted to eat in the Snow White Cafe. I just wanted to show you, but there is some spots I am looking at, like maybe Mel's, uh, and I want to just walk around, walk, walk around, and show a little bit more off and uh, kind of enjoy it. It's really cool to be down here. They have the original El Capitan Theater with the Disney Studio Store over there. And then on this side of the street, the uh, Chinese Theater right up here. So I'm going to kind of go up there and see if I can show you. Might as well show you some more of the uh, stars too. Julie Andrews. Oh, Wayne Newton. Oh, I love Wayne Newton. Oh, and I love Slash. Every night in my dreams. I see you, I feel you. Sorry, <laughs> Celine Dion. I uh, know, mine too. And would you look at that, we made it to the Chinese theater. Wow, it's uh, really something else being here and getting to look at it. It is so cool though. I remember, you know, seeing all, I mean, everyone coming to movie premieres and stuff here and also Hollywood Studios and Walt Disney World and it's cool to see the original one, you know? And also all of the handprints and the uh, celebrities' uh, names. Look, you got tons of them right here. Harrison Ford. Oh, look at that. June 3rd, uh, 1992. Who else do we got here? Clint Eastwood. That's cool. Dick Van Dyke. I see Dick Van Dyke right here. I wish we could go right on in. It's almost like uh, we're about to go on Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Man, I would love to go in here. I didn't even, like, if they sold tickets, I think I would come. I wonder if I could get a ticket to like a special premiere. I don't know when the next one is. Oh, it looks like they're doing IMAX here. I've always wanted to eat at the original Mel's Drive-In. Celebrity bar and cocktails. Look at that. Validated parking for Mel's Drive-In and here it is. I'm so excited. Look at actually, this is a really beautiful shot. Like, holy moly. Yeah, I like this a lot. This really is like, uh, a good uh, one-shot representation of Hollywood Boulevard, I feel. I think I'm gonna sit at the bar. Look at this. Uh, oh, I'm scooping down one. This is where I wanna be. Yeah, open kitchen. This is really cool. I can't wait to see what they have on the menu. So, like being in a diner, I feel like I need to get some diner classics. Uh, I noticed turkey dinner on the menu. I feel like that's a go-to, like an open-faced turkey dinner. I got a cherry Coke, and then they also have a nice cup of uh, chicken noodle soup. So, chicken noodle soup, turkey dinner, and a cherry Coke, and that's, uh, I feel like that's pretty good diner-ish. Now, they're also known for their milkshake, so I think I'm gonna get a milkshake on top of that. I mean, I feel like you gotta, you gotta go all in. And I think I'm going just uh, classic, uh, they have an espresso milkshake. Holy moly, I might have to go espresso milkshake. I didn't know that. I was gonna say, I think I'm gonna go just classic uh, vanilla, but they also have a Lana Del Rey shake too. Oh wow, there's so many different actually. I, I thought it was just gonna be plain and simple. I feel like now I gotta go all in and get something special. Look at this, they're playing Grease right now and I got my chicken noodle soup. My cherry Coke's got the cherry in there and I bet you they make it with the syrup. I'm so excited, I love diner food. Oh, look at them noodles, look at them noodles. Good soup. Oh my lord, my milkshake has arrived. I ended up getting the penguin one and look at that, it looks so good but check out the turkey din din. Wow, I can see the steam coming off the gravy. It looks so good, the mixed veggies, the dinner roll, the mashed potatoes. This is gonna be some good food right here. I am so excited. I gotta try this milkshake here, and plus I have the extra on the side there, in true diner fashion. That is a good shake right there, holy moly. It definitely will bring the boys to the yard, I can tell you that. And uh, now I'm diving into the turkey dinner, and I'm sure this isn't going to disappoint either. In fact, everything has been exceptional. I love being in here. It is so awesome. Like, this is like true diner fashion here, and working at Denny's my whole life, like, this is kind of like a big deal. 
it's definitely better than the Mel's inside Universal Studios Orlando. And now I'm gonna dive into this turkey here. Grab a little bit of there, grab some of the gravy. There we go. Just like I thought. So good, man. You can't go wrong with a hot open turkey face sandwich, you know? Well, I don't know if you consider it a hot open face turkey sandwich unless they have the bread underneath there. Now it's just a turkey dinner, but if I had a little, uh, maybe I should have asked, hey, can you slip me a slice of white bread underneath the uh, stuffing? But everybody knows you gotta get the combination bite. Mashed potatoes, stuffing, gravy, all in one bite, and that's how you do it. It's also definitely diner sized portions. $22 for all of this food. And it is a lot, a lot of food. I mean, I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish all of it. There's no way. Mel's drive-in was amazing. Just like I thought it would be, like a diner food. It's not the cleanest, it's not the friendliest, you know what I mean? And uh, yeah, this day has been amazing. The whole day's been amazing. Like I really have been having a wonderful Hollywood like kind of day you know and now we're gonna head back to the house and maybe watch the sunset a little bit over the hollywood hills we made it back to our cabin and i wanted to show you the view outside now but uh looks like we might have missed the sunset it took us a while to get back at least it's uh it's a little dark out but you can see a little bit happening very pretty just like I uh, said it was gonna be, it's nice. You can actually see the lights from the Hollywood sign. See them right there? Very cool. And with that, I think we are calling it a night here. I had a beautiful day hanging out in Hollywood. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I definitely feel like I should come back and do some more stuff. I wanted to go to like Walt Disney Studios and stuff like that, but because it's Labor Day weekend, they're not, uh, you know, open at the moment. Uh, but uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye!